So for a CDA revision, go to the SkySlope main dashboard and you're going to click on Manage Transactions. Go ahead and single click on the file in which you need a revised CDA for, which I'm going to choose my example. Then you will go to the Documents tab. Go ahead and find the original Commission Disbursement Authorization, which you can preview by just going, going ahead and um, hovering over the eyeball. So make sure you're choosing the correct one. <coughs> You'll check mark the box to the left of the correct document. And then you're going to click on DigiSign. This is going to open up a brand new page. So as you can see, the correct document has already been selected. So you can just go ahead and click Next. You'll want to select your name over on the left-hand side as you will be the one making the revision to the, C to the CDA. You will also need to send a copy to our support team. <coughs> so go ahead and click on New Recipient. Type in AJI support, and you'll also need to go ahead and put in our email address if it doesn't automatically put in for you. Under the role, you're going to select other. You'll keep the signing order as one, and then you'll sele select receives a copy under the type. Click on save and then you'll go ahead and click Next. So it's gonna say who signs first, it's going to have your name, who only needs a copy of the signed document, AJI support. Okay, and then you can click on Next. You'll see that the CDA appears on this screen. What you'll want to do is select Writable at the top, and then you'll just go ahead and click on the areas <clears throat> on the document that need to be updated. For example, let's say the sales price on this property has changed to 890000 So I'll go ahead and just click, and I'll type in 800, 890000 here. Okay? So since the sale price has changed, that means it's going to change my total commission, which would make the total disbursement amount, that would need to be 8,900, 1% 1 of 890,000. Okay, then that means that's going to change my total commission amount, which would need to be updated to, 8,475, okay, and I got that 8,475, 890,000 minus the 425 going to Allison James would bring my total to 8,475, okay. So remember, if there are any other changes that need to be made, you can um, make as many additional boxes as you need to throughout the entire CDA. Once you have made all needed adjustments, click on send at the top right hand corner and feel free to type in a message to our corporate team. For example, you can say please update my CDA. <clears throat> Thank you. And then you'll just click send for signatures. Then you will click on Sign Now. Go ahead and select a signature you would like to use. And click on I Agree. When the document reappears, go ahead and click on Start over here. And it's just going to take you through and confirm these, the amounts that you have written, at, written in. 
So keep clicking next. Yes, that's correct. Yes, that is correct. And then the final time you click next, it's going to come up with this box. You'll go ahead and click on submit. At that time, the completed document will be sent directly to our corporate team to adjust and issue a revised CDA. Your document will also be logged automatically in the Skyslope transaction. So if you do go back to your transaction, it's going to show that you have gone ahead and um, documented this. And if I go ahead and view this, I believe it will be this one, you'll see that the changes have been made automatically. So this is the same thing that's going to be sent to our corporate team, and you also have a copy here in the Skyslope transaction. Okay? So that's a really easy way to go ahead and send us your CDA revision requests.